Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. So today I'm showing you a really pretty loop scarf. You can see the pattern already. It's kind of a star flower pattern. And yeah, it's super easy, although it may look a little bit complicated. So if you'd like to see how you can make this and which wool I used, feel free to stay tuned. Okay, so I'm starting with our wool first, multicolor glitz. And we have here 53% polyester and 24% wool, 23% acrylic. Yeah, so apart from that, 50 grams, 90 meters approximately for a 7 millimeter hook or crocheting needles. And yeah, I'm going to use three balls for today's scarf. And yeah, we can get started right away. So I'm pulling the middle out. Okay, let's get started. So first we need a slip knot and then we're going to chain a couple as always. One chain and then the next one that we have the loop on our needle, we're going to pull a little bit like this. So we want a little bit of room there and I can help you with um, the thumb thickness or the thumb width. That kind of helps and then yarn over into the first one we go in and then we again pull up kind of so now we have three loops on our needle and then we're going to repeat that there we go so that way we get five loops and now what we're going to do is put our middle finger between our working yarn and these loops on our hook and then we're going to pull through There we go. So my middle finger is still holding everything in place. Now I'm going through there and there I'm going to go through, take the yarn with me and then just do a slip stitch there. So that way we kind of closed off this first puff that we did. Okay, so now I have the next spot where I want to go through. So yarn over and then right through where I am. And then we're repeating that two more times. Now the middle finger here in between and then we can finish off and then right after that we're going to start our new puff. I'm going to do this for a total of six times, so I'm going to need six puffs to form a star. There we go. Okay, I need to fix this one. It's kind of weird. Okay, here are the six. So this is the width of my scarf. And now what we're going to do is do another one, another puff. So we need five loops on our hook and then we close it off. Okay, there we go. Now I'm again taking five. And this way we're starting row number two. This time we're doing two on our hook without closing it off. And actually number three is coming right next to there. So you can see here the first pack with five and then the two with six loops on the hook. A total of 17. 
There we go, we did the same method with the middle finger and now we're closing it off. So the stitch is of course the spot where we go next into and you can see kind of this first half of the first star or flower as you wish. But yeah, you can see how we're doing this. So let's start right again. So the first one has five and then the next two have six. Again, 17 total. Now we're closing it off again. And you can slowly see how I have here the four petals or four sections of the star and here three. And um, yeah, so you can see the different ones forming and then on top of course are gonna be the rest of these. So the first one always has just five loops on the hook and then the next two always have six. And we're just going through the middle section between each of the existing puffs on the bottom. There we go, so we start again, and you already know what to do. A really cool trick to help you with going through all the loops and not missing any is twisting your needle a little bit and then going through as fast as you can. the finger goes in and then we finish it off. And yeah, here you can see the row or what we have of it for now. So now we have the last one fit to do. We're starting the same way, five loops and then six. And then into the very last spot or actually the very beginning of our project, we go in and we again do six. Okay, so I have the three here, and apart from that, it's always four parts of the star or the flower. Um, so yeah, we're starting the next round the same way. We're doing a puff right away here on the edge. So here I already have the four pieces done and now we're again starting the same way. So five. Okay, so the first spot is right here. So that's where we get the five loop piece. And then six right after that and one more time after that. So again, the same thing as before. Seventeen total and then we again pull through and that's gonna be it. So here is our first star done and now we're just continuing the same way as so far. So it's gonna be super easy and if you've got it so far then you already know what to do next. So 
So you are going to need a lot of wool for today's project. And you can see how thick this is and how many loops we have for just one section. Um, so yeah, I would definitely always take one ball more, one spool more than what you planned on because you are going to need a lot of wool here. The row change, of course, um, works just the same as so far, so there's nothing new there. And yeah, I'll show you a couple more when I'm done, but for now you can see the two that are completely done. So from all six pieces, and yeah, um, then we're always going to do just one chain for the height on the end, so that's all we're going to need. And then we're just kind of slowly going to um, complete our stars. So you always have the three at the beginning and then four in the middle. But yeah, that doesn't really matter. You're going to know what to do. Um, but yeah, you can see how simple this is. So even if you're a beginner, after you get done with like two or three rows, you're going to be just fine. And you're going to see how quickly you're actually doing it. So yeah, I'm going to do a little bit more and then I'm going to show you what I have. Okay, you guys, so I'm almost done with my three spools and I have just a little bit left over. And yeah, this is about 130 centimeters long. Of course, you can make this longer or shorter depending on how much wool you have and what you want. But yeah, it's very um, warm. It's definitely for colder days for the winter. And yeah, since I said it's going to be a loop scarf, now what I want to do is show you how to make a loop out of it. So we're taking the beginning and the end. And the first step is actually super easy. We're just going to go into the first two chains through. So the beginning and the end both. And then we're just taking the thread through. Now I'm going to pull it long, just like I did so far. And then into the next spot in between the two puffs, I'm doing the same thing. And then we're just going to repeat the same thing. So we're kind of mimicking this distance here when pulling it longer. As you can see, this is a super quick way to do this. Okay, there we go. So we can now shorten this and pull it out. But I want to show you from the outside um, what the connected section looks like. So it's actually not 100% like the pattern, but I think it hides it pretty well. And it looks very, very similar to the texture of the entire scarf of the rest of the scarf. So yeah, I wanted to show you the colors a little bit so that you can see um, the color gradient. And of course, the glittery effect is a really nice effect on here. And you can see here that this is pretty thick. So this is definitely for warmer days or colder days, sorry, for... Um, keeping you warm. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to shoot a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to our channel if you would like to see more videos in the future. We do post a lot, so feel free to do that. And then yeah, apart from that, just thanks for watching. I hope to see you in one of our next projects. And until then, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!